Well, I think we're all familiar with walking sticks, but sometimes the that highway is closer than it seems. Okay, but sometimes we don't always think of all the uses for a walking stick. Obviously, it can help you walk a little faster and easier, especially if you have two. This is a really heavy, really heavy hickory walking stick. I made it myself. So, um, being heavy and being hardwood means it's not really practical for me to use two, but it does mean that it's definitely heavy and thick enough for me to do things with it that I couldn't do with an ordinary, say, aluminum walking stick. So, one of the things I like about this, this little notch I put around the handle at the top, what this does is it gives me a little valley to put my thumb and forefinger into so I can really exert a lot of downward pressure from the handle. Got some bicyclists passing by on the trail. But um, obviously I can use it for walking, but because this is so strong, I can also use it for river crossings. I'll show that in a second. But beyond that, I can also use it for climbing. I can use it for getting up steep, slippery slopes, things like that, really practical. Also, I don't know if you can see the bugs flying around me, but they're horse flies. Horse flies are big, mean, and they pack one heck of a bite. So one, ah, case in point. Let's get this adjusted. This is a horse fly. They're big and they have these pointy mouth parts that, come on, focus, that deliver their sting. Obviously this one's not entirely dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish him off. This is the fifth one today I think I've killed. Morning! Making a YouTube video about walking sticks. No, 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 it's pointed way down here. If I don't edit it out, you'll be, you'll, your voice will be in the video though. <laughs> well, speaking of horse flies, out of desperation today, I tried spinning my walking stick and I ended up swatting two of them out of the air just by spinning the stick. You probably have already seen people do, oh, there goes another one. Probably have already seen people spin sticks before. I've never seen them used for insect control and it actually kind of works. It will knock one or two out every now and then, but beyond that it keeps them from hovering too close to your skin. So when I'm tired of them, I'll just spin the stick. It's kind of cathartic in itself, unless you whack yourself like that. There's also just something about having a piece of wood as your companion out here in the wilderness. 
I can't put my finger on it, but it just feels right to have something like this with me. And one of the reasons I like to have this with me is because I, I made it, so it's mine in a, a special sense that most walking sticks aren't. I remember what it was like to make this. I remember uh, selecting the branch. I remember seasoning it. I remember trimming it and getting the bark off. I remember carving it and sanding it, trimming it down. I remember putting the notch in it. It's mine in a deeper sense than normal. But it also came from the landscape, it came from the land. And I turned it into something useful. And one day when it's no longer useful to me, or when I die or whatever, this can go directly back into the land. I've only borrowed it. I'm not gonna keep it. Nothing we take from the land is ultimately going to stay with us. It all goes back. So uh, yeah, these are my thoughts on a walking stick. Super duper practical in lots of different ways. And there are probably other uses for walking sticks that I haven't even put on here. Like, oh, here's one I forgot. You can actually pitch a tent with one if you do it right. There are great videos on how to do that. Look those up using hiking sticks to pitch tents. Really super cool stuff. Well, that'll be all for this video. The horse flies are coming back. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. This is by far the most rem remote location I've been able to find, horse flies, uh, that I've been able to find in this piece of public land. But if you look here, you may notice that is a bench overlooking this very spot. Which means it's not my little mud walker's beach, it's everyone's little mud walker's beach. So, even here, I have to be pretty careful. And this is why I can't make as much nude content for you guys as some of you want. Like I said before, I would like to be nude all the time. But it's just not possible where I am. I'm doing what I can, but it's just not possible. Pleasant chat with those bicyclists who are traveling by. Um, if I had been naked, I don't know if we would have had such a pleasant time, but this is a great example of people passing through this area and me needing to, you know, show some due caution. So uh, this isn't a place where I can be nude all the time, but it's, uh, it's a pleasant little outing. I'm still getting outdoors, still able to film some videos, but I gotta be careful when, where, and how I take off my clothes out even in a place like this because, like, I, like I've said before, I live close enough to Baton Rouge. There, There's some decent foot traffic and bicycle traffic through all the easily accessible forested land, public land. So I gotta be super careful or despite the legality, legal permissibility of my actions, I could still end up in the back of a police unit. So uh, it, it is what it is. I'm gonna, you know, do what I can, but it's just kind of how things are. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And by the way, I, I seem to remember hearing that comments are really important to the algorithm. So if you wouldn't mind, if you're leaving a like and a, a view, go ahead and drop a, a comment down. You can even make it two or three words if you want, something like, um, cool video or it's just a stick or <laughs> or um make more videos or whatever it is but leave a comment that might help me move higher up in the algorithm and the sooner i can get higher up in the algorithm i might get some more subscribers and views and the more subscribers i have the closer i am to monetization and once i'm monetized i can actually make more and better content but uh thanks to you all god bless and get outside